Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm going to give just a little few words about teens and the self. So as you know, um, we've been studying about the self and social media. And if we think about um, the self, we normally think of like in chapter six, she focuses on, you know, the um, self-expression and how we can play at the self online and the enjoyment and fulfillment we get from those activities um, that is pretty well documented by research in this area. However, there are some concerns with specifically adolescents and their development of self. So um, one of the researchers in this area wrote this caution identity under construction. And she is looking at um, what is the role of adolescence in self and identity formation. We, um, it's a time of trying on new identities. It's, a, it's a, a, an era of your life where you're becoming something. And we're spending, um, teenagers are spending so much time on social media and computer media to communication because for many reasons, one of which is that they, um, their friends are there. They, they're just, and, you know, insofar as they're addicted to social media, they're just addicted to connections with other, um, other kids and their friends, but also because it's um, the way we have structured, you know, uh, suburbia and in general um, childhood in the U.S. that children and teenagers are not really able to get around that easily on their own. They need their parents to drive them places. They don't have places where they can just walk around and meet their friends, independent of adults. So with um, all of the scheduling and the kind of rat race of the competitiveness of um, children in the upper class, in middle class, um, whereas in some of the working class, it could be that um, their parents are just working all the time and working long hours and are not able to drive them places. So for what, you know, there are many reasons, but that teenagers go to social media. Um, so we go through the network to information, but I want to just focus on some of the things that she felt could be problematic are that teens are trying on new identities. It's about becoming. And when we try on things, we can make mistakes. And because of the digital footprint and the durability of information that's online, that um, those mistakes could, could tether, this is the next one, uh, teens to that mistake or to that failed identity or that attempt um, for the rest of their lives. That it's also, um, information can be searched, the searchability. So that could follow something um, harassment online or um, some bad event could could be found out um, through the searchability and could follow the teen even if they switch schools or you know change their identity that could follow them. So teens are trying to become new. Um, they're trying to get new identities and at the same time they are risk taking. So that's part of being a teenager is taking a lot of risks. And also um, being very sensitive to the judgments of your peers. And that helps teens develop their self because they take risks, try new things, but yet they're um, very sensitive to their peers' reactions. And then that helps them then um, like refine their own identities. But of course, this can become a problem, especially when you take risks and things are in um, cyber in the digital space for a long time. The tethered identity is being tethered to your former self, but also could be being tethered to technology and kind of not growing up um, because you're always like connected to your parents or connected to um, information. And so it's also a concern that that teens are not becoming um, independent enough. The next article that I have assigned here about teens is called the Facebook files. It's about the Facebook files, which was a link, a leak of Instagram data. And it um, shared that, I mean, there were internal studies that Facebook was doing or Meta, the, the company that owns Facebook and Instagram. And they were looking at how teens are using Instagram and what are the repercussions. And they found that there were a lot of negative mental health um, repercussions of Instagram use, especially among teenage girls. 
So the um, so some of the risk and benefits are that is this a private for-profit company that is really um, invested in getting data from kids that they could sell to advertisers just like data is valuable. The, the more data you have on someone um, throughout their life, you know, that's very valuable. If we can, they were, there are other studies where they um, were paying kids to access their phones, not just what they do on Instagram, but like their whole phone. Um, and it's because they want to see why are we losing out kids to TikTok or to other apps? So what, what are they doing? What else are they doing on their phones? So, um, you know, there are people raise concerns that these technology companies have released things that kids are using and that, that we don't have good safety data on it. So I'll leave it there for now and um, look forward to your reactions and to more conversation about these topics.